What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to talk about Corey Pritchard's wife. Y'all already know what it is. Yo, it's your boy King Leo. I'm from the 516. Yo, are we in the land of the free, home of the brave? Nah, it's the land of the weak, home of the slaves. Y'all already know what it is. Yeah, uh, yo. I had to admit myself to the hospital twice. Ain't never worried about dying because I'm covered by Christ. That's Before right. Before I got sick, I stopped taking multivitamins. They turning this shit into. So look, I just got word that Corey Pritchett has been treating his wife, his fine ass Latina wife. He been treating her like shit. Never mind the, the noise outside, guys. This is just what I got to deal with living at a place like this right now. So if you hear some shit outside, it's the neighbors acting a damn fool. Let's call it what it is. Anyway, let's get, let's get back to the topic. Corey Pritchett. Well, Corey Pritchett's wife is a dime piece. Point blank. Okay? With that being said, guys... I think I know exactly why Corey Pritchett is is treating her the way he's treating her. And it could be a number of reasons, but I think I think um okay, before I say what I'm going to say, let me tell you the truth about guys. For those of you who are curious. Us men, especially black men, I see I can't speak for white guys. I can only speak for black guys. When we get money and fame and attention, whenever we get a female, we feel like the only reason why she's with us is because we have money. It doesn't matter where she comes from. It doesn't matter if she's loyal. It doesn't matter if she tells us that she loves us every morning. None of that crap matters because at the end of the day, what we know is that this female is with us and we have money. And a lot, of, a lot of the times we get the money and then get the female, okay? A lot of the times. Um, and that, that's a, this is a trust issue that we have as black men. We have, a, we have trust issues because we know that when we was broke, we was, we was considered the broke ass nigga. You see what I'm saying? We was considered the broke ass nigga and was laughed at and pointed at. Ha ha ha, broke ass nigga, get your money up, you see? And everybody thought it was fucking funny until we made it and we started making some money. This is why there's so this is why I believe that there are so many black men that cheat. Because when we when we're growing up, we don't got we barely get a shot at women. We're the main ones being told you ugly. You too black, your nose too big, you got a big head, you this, you that. And then when we get money, all of a sudden we handsome. All of a sudden we fucking look good. Let me tell y'all something. I'm single right now and I'm not, I'm not rich. And I'm not single because I want to be single. I'm single because we live in a society where we're told... Or we're, 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 we're made to believe that if you don't have money, you ain't shit. If you don't have money, you ugly. If you don't have money, you're not fun. If you don't have money, you're not a good man. You see that? You see that, right? This is why society is so messed up the way it is. So anyway, let me get back to the whole Car Carmen uh, situation. Uh... With that being said, what I just explained to you guys, that is the number one reason why most black men end up cheating on their wives, no matter what race they are, okay? No matter what race their wife is. White girl, Hispanic girl, doesn't matter. None of that crap matters. So, getting back to the Carmen situation. Carmen, I'm going to tell you this right now, okay? I want you to come here. I want you to listen to me, all right? Check this out. Keep your body right. 
Keep your body in shape. Make sure you always looking good no matter what. See, I think a lot of the times when when females, when they get comfortable, because this is the same thing that happened. This is the same thing that happened with LeBron James' wife. When you get with a guy that has money, you tend to lose yourself and you you don't you don't want to be in shape no more. You don't want to work out no more. You don't want to have a slim, a slim waistline no more. Okay? And you don't want to be, you don't want to be that thick thing that that we met when we when we first got to know you. Um what you females need to work on is your image. If you're with a guy with money, you have to work hard to keep your image up to par because if your image is not up to par, you're just going to become less attractive and nobody, your own husband is not even going to want to deal with you. Let me tell you a little, a little story, right? I was talking to my ex about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, right? And she told me about something that I didn't even know I said to her when I was with her. And what she told me was that I was upset at how she was gaining weight when we were together. Okay? I didn't even realize that I even said that to her. It happened so long ago, but the fact that she told me that was, was very important. Because what you got to understand, guys, is I didn't talk to this girl when she was fat or when she was gaining weight. I talked to her when she was in shape and she was attractive. The point I'm trying to make to you ladies is if a guy meets you and you look a certain way, you have to keep that image because if you don't, he gonna push you to the side, talk shit about you and start fucking somebody else. Okay, I don't care if you Latin, I don't care if you're a white girl, I don't care if you got blonde hair, blue eyes, hazel eyes, I don't care about none of that crap. If your body is not on point all the time, that man with money, he ain't going to take you serious. Because last I checked, the reason why he got with you in the first place was because you was fine as hell. Okay? So, that's the point of this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to let the ladies know that um, in order to heighten the chances of your man staying interested in you you have to work out you have to drink weight loss tea do whatever the hell you got to do to keep your body right because as soon as you start losing yourself you're going to become un you're going to become undesirable so what you had a baby with him so what if you got um baby weight stop using these excuses to not exercise and keep your body right i seen a white woman with blonde hair blue eyes she was in excellent shape she had like five kids she had like five children she was in excellent shape because she understands how important it is to be good looking okay she understands that despite despite the fact that she has had five four to five children it's extremely important to be uh, uh physically attractive and in shape and to be taking care of yourself okay so when you guys get the chance, share this video. Okay, it's a very important video. Y'all already know what it is. It's King Leo. Deuces for now. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money. I made a money. You can keep that $30, boy. I made a money. That's lesson learned.